matter for them. The lake edges teem with life. Bats fish for insects in the shallow waters, whilst near-tropical cormorants oscillate their neck pouches in an attempt to keep cool. Among the myriad of creatures found in the Oxbow Lake is one of the world's most endangered species. The giant river otter. Over the last few decades, hunting for the otter's furs has decimated their population. It's suspected that there could be as few as a thousand left in the wild. The family is ruled by the adult female who swims at the front of the pack. She leads the movements of the rest and is barely distinguishable from her partner and litter of six cubs that swim behind her. We are only able to tell them apart from the unique markings that each otter possesses on its neck. As the afternoon sun begins to fade, the otters fish for piranha along the lakeside. They are excellent swimmers and easily catch the four kilos of fish they need to sustain themselves each day, leaving plenty of time for playing, grooming and relaxing. The otters are among the most social of mammals and reinforcing social bonds is essential for both their pack hunting strategy and their ability to pull together in the face of the many dangers that live in the lake. The sun is setting and with relationships secured the otters make their way down the lakeside towards their den. Generations of the otter family have fiercely defended the lake as their territory. At nearly two meters long, they are usually capable of doing so, even against a top predator like this four meter black caiman. But sadly, the otters have been overwhelmed by people. Although the trade in their skins has dramatically decreased, they now face a totally different kind of danger. As the family's cubs reach maturity, they must leave the lake and travel up to a hundred kilometers along the river in search of a place to start a family of their own. Upon reaching the river, the otters have a choice to swim upstream or downstream, and it's here on that lies the danger. Faces a similar climate crisis the giant river otter. Giant river otters are rare and endangered, with fewer than 5,000 remaining in the wild. They're the largest of their kind, measuring up to two meters long. This family group has 10 members, headed up by mum and dad. They're highly social and constantly check in with each other using a variety of vocalizations. Their communication involves a complex system of sounds, scents, and postures. Locals call them the wolves of the river, and they are proficient predators. With their wing-like tails, webbed feet, and sleek fur, they're built for the water, and have no problem catching enough to eat.
Each otter feeds on up to four kilos of fish a day. Every year at the start of the dry season, the mother otter relies on river levels falling to expose patches of dry land where she can make her den. These quiet backwaters provide a perfect place for young otters to learn and play. 14 weeks old, and the pups are still mastering the skills they'll need to survive. But it's a race against time. The rains are about to return, and the den will flood. If weather patterns change, it will challenge this finely tuned parenting plan. One creature may be better equipped to deal with climate change. It's the world's largest freshwater fish. The piruruku can grow to three meters in length and weigh more than two baby elephants. It lives in slow-moving waterways that are murky from decaying vegetation. Tannin in the leaves turns the water acidic. Not ideal for most fish. And as climate change causes temperatures to rise, oxygen levels are likely to fall even farther. But the piruruku has an amazing secret weapon. Along with its reduced gills, it has evolved with an air bladder that acts like a lung. The piruruku rises to the surface for a gulp of air, taking in oxygen through its mouth. It is uniquely adapted to exploit areas avoided by other large fish. And the low oxygen levels render its smaller neighbors sluggish, making them easy targets. Its adaptation may give the piruruku the winning advantage in a changing world. <laughs>